Hey, how's it going? Well, this shirt actually fits me now. Uh, it was way too small before, and the green shirt fits like I'm trying to wear a tent. I've lost 40 pounds. I'm down to 245. Anyway, Rape Vulture caused quite a havoc for me. Uh, and he's probably laughing at home uh, if he's watching this video. Um, he left death threats, and uh, then the, and I called the police, told them about it. Then the next day, there was someone yelling my name outside. Uh, nobody uh, out here knows me, so why would... Yeah, so that had me worried. I called the police again, and they came out, and, well, there's not really anything they can do. They didn't even give me a... Uh, uh, a number to represent what is that called it's a, a case number they didn't even give me a case number or anything I think they just kind of laughed it off so <clears throat> online threats I think are the least of their worries so anyway Hemingway I told my uh, landlord about it and uh, she was uh surprised and saddened uh, but uh, it's led me to the decision of moving I put up a uh, I put a, a, a GoFundMe I put up uh, on, on Facebook and on uh, Google Plus I put up my GoFundMe as well as my PayPal.me slash Kazoom and I got over $1,500 in donations so I can get the hell out of here. And the landlord is, is, is all right with that. She'll still give me a good reference, even though I've left early, because she understands. <clears throat> she's, she's a good person. She really is. The thing that is so strange about this whole thing is how Rape Vulture reacted to me in the first place, making comments that suggest that I, I, I moved here and now I expect them to change for me. I, no, when did I ever suggest anything like that. It's ridiculous. Just because I complain about a, what I see in a, in a culture where I'm currently living doesn't mean that I want, I'm going to expect it to change. That's stupid. Who the hell does that? What kind of idiot would do something like that? I was just complaining about this stuff. And maybe there's some valid reasons why some people have worries uh, why, why people, some people have are, have somewhat racist attitudes out here. There might be some valid reasons about it. You know, people coming in uh, from the bad areas of nearby cities and coming out here. You know, whatever. To me, it shouldn't be looked at as a race issue, but some people look at it that way. Um, whatever. It's the way that people are out here. Um, nothing I can do about it. I was just complaining about it in a video. You know? But somehow he took it as if I'm saying that people should change. I'm going to change these people. I'm going to be some sort of social justice warrior. And it's just like, no, I no, that's stupid. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> but now that he's made living here even worse, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm gone. By the end of the month, I'm going to hopefully be uh, uh, either in Eureka or heading towards Eureka. I've got a few places that I've uh, responded to the ads, uh, filled out full applications, and hopefully I can get something there pretty quickly. If not, though, uh, you know, there's some campsites that I have in mind that I'd like to uh, try going to staying for a little while get a get a tent get a uh, uh, an air mattress so I can you know I can be close by to some of these places so because I mean, there's a lot of places that they're not going to rent to someone they can't meet in person first so you know, they're not going to do this stuff over the phone fully they, they want to meet some of the person so and uh yeah, that's my plan. I also hope that I will... Well, not hope. I'm, I'm going to be utilizing my cooler 
a lot better than I did last time. And I'm, I have a whole bunch of meals that I'm going to make, and, and I put put in those little plastic. They can be disposable uh, containers, cheap like Gladware or or uh, Ziplocware, whatever you want to call them. I have about twelve of them. Make twelve of those meals that I make. Have them in the cooler. Have some of them be frozen so they'll last even a little little bit longer. Um, but still, I absolutely fill the cooler with ice, but uh, as well. But you know, you really utilize that and have decent meals on the trip. And being that I've lost so much weight, I might be able to sleep in the van occasionally. Uh, you know, without worrying about a CPAP. Uh, you know, I'm crossing my fingers for that. One of the things that I've really noticed since I've lost this much weight is that it's no, I don't, I no longer have to put any sort of effort into breathing. Um, that was a really negative thing about when I was that heavy. I still don't exactly know why for so long I, I just thought the being heavy thing was, would be good. I, 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 I don't get it now when I'm looking back. I, I, I don't understand the mindset that I had. Um, the gaining community has some really weird things about it. Um, and uh, I'm glad I'm out of that. Anyway, this video is long enough. Um, it's just an update. And uh, who knows, maybe my next video will be when I'm on the road. We will see. Thanks.